Now, today's guest played Ben Mitchell in EastEnders for five years, but he's now swapped Albert Square for treading the boards in his new theatre role. Here to tell us more about life since leaving Walford, please welcome Max Bowden. <laughs> It's not a fairground ride. No, <laughs> not it's not. It's not. Um, uh, I'm loving. I'm now absolutely obsessed with your tash because I really like it. I'm is glad that, you are. Is that for that? That's for the bird song, isn't it? Yes. That's a theatre yeah, show yeah, that yeah. you're in. It's very, very World War One esque. Yeah. It wasn't my personal choice, I'll be honest. But, but, but you we are. You carry strong. it well, Matt. Thank you, yeah. Denise. Thank strong. You. Thank so, um, what's it been like treading the boards? It's over at Richmond Theatre, isn't it? Yeah, we're in Richmond this week, which is lovely. It's obviously a stunning part of the world. Yeah. Um, it's been it's been strange, mm. but really cathartic and beautiful. Um, the production is obviously quite timely with everything that's going on in the world yeah. right now. It's a World War One production, um, which we thought was the war to end all wars, and yeah. yet here we are. Um, so, from a sort of artistic perspective, it's been amazing, um, but it's tiring. I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty shattered. But, but you uh, also said it was cathartic. Why did yeah. you say that? Well, I did it. I did it ten years ago, mm. um, playing a 15-year-old then. So obviously, <laughs> I've, I've had a tough paper round. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it's very different to what it was ten years ago. I think looking at things slightly older and yeah. realizing the the input and output that productions like this can have on the world yeah. and certainly our country is, sure. is quite important. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now in terms of um, leaving EastEnders of course, mm. um, how has that been for you going from sort of this because being in a soap is a big beast when I mean, we have quite a few of the ladies on the panels have been in soaps or currently in soaps and it is quite a big beast to be a part of and then sort of move into something smaller. Do you miss being part of such that big production? Oh I think of course I mean it was it was a I learned so much about my craft and about myself eventually, you know, in, in five very great but tough years. Yeah. Um, so to sort of have that slow down period in, in a way to sort of reflect and go back to the origins of why I started acting in the first place has been quite lovely. Mm. Um, I miss it, um, but I'm really, really content where I am and yeah. sort of enjoying the process again. Yeah. yeah. When, yeah. When, you're, when you're doing a soap, it's all very instinctive. Everything's very quick, as I'm sure. Yes, yeah, it's very quick. It's, it's very <laughs> quick. <laughs> there's no time to breathe. There was, a, there was, you know, there's been kind of different moments. There was a funny moment at the beginning, the first day, I think you had your line and you cut into someone who's quite popular. <laughs> yeah, he's fairly popular. <laughs> um, yeah, my first scene was with Steve McFadden and yeah. Letitia Dean. So you're sort of, you're in at the, the deep end, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, yes, quite. And uh, we were doing a line run and I cut Steve's line off and he just went, Ooh. well, he's keen, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> and stayed for five years. Yeah, yeah well, I was years. that keen. That, yeah. and, and it's great. And, you know, obviously the storylines change um, with such an iconic show, but there was a storyline that was so close to your heart because you lost your best friend yeah. um, through, you know, the same kind of illness that brain happened. Cancer, yeah, brain cancer. Yeah, happened. it was it was um it was very quick. So yeah. Max um was sort of the life and soul of every party. He was a businessman, oh. he was very successful. And on the Friday, uh I was sent a text by him saying Ronaldo was going back to United a voice note and then twelve hours later he went into a coma. <gasps> um from an undiagnosed brain tumor. Oh so goodness. yeah it was it was it started a very dark time mm. in terms of me understanding and processing what was going on and I think from a sort of selfish perspective when you then play that story out again sure it, it does release a lot of inner turmoil so it's been it's been a weird sort of time did, but you, did you get help yeah yeah the, I mean the BBC were really really forthcoming and and I you know I've eventually found this amazing charity, which I'm sure we will mm. talk about, who have been so great with giving you utensils and tools just to help people who are dealing with grief and maybe not in the right way. Mm. Yeah. Did you, you, you know, there was a part where you said that there was, towards the end of EastEnders, you had a part of burnout. Mm. Was that because of the contribution of having to, you know, relive a story that you were so close to or just, the, you know, the intensity of being in such a big yeah, soap? I mean, it's... it's in retrospect, I think it's probably an amalgamation of, of things, you know. I, yeah. I was, of course, very tired. I was very, I was very depressed, Much, I think, yeah. honestly. Um, and it's, it's an intense 
working environment because of the nature of what we're doing. You know, mm. when you're telling the stories of every, the every man, every woman, yeah, so true. it's it's incredibly imperative that we do it justice and we yeah, do it, you know, to the to the status and the the wit that we need to. Yeah. So with that, you can sometimes burn out. Yeah. And then I think, yeah, I was I was at that point, and it's. It was the right time. Did yeah. your um, did your family help with that? Because one of the things I loved this morning when you walked in is you came. You brought your nan in with you. I did. Did you? Give away, nan. Did. 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 Oh. It's, her, it's, <laughs> it's her absolute favourite show. Oh. And uh, we we have quite a good relationship, love, don't we? So um, <laughs> so if I didn't bring her today, I'd have been sacked. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, she's very, and she's very grateful. You've all been so lovely. So oh, oh no, he's a good boy, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness! I mean, do you think that helps with the madness of the career that you're in? Because I know how much the, your family means to you, Dan, with mm. the madness of sort of uh, the acting world and the ups and downs and what have you. Do you think that that having that big fam, that loving family around you, has helped you in lots of different ways? For sure, for sure. I think. Um, it's, it's strange, isn't it? I, I, again, on reflection, I think there's times where you forget that when you're so busy and life mm. is going 100 miles an hour and, and sort of home has always been my grounding place to come home and just go breathe. Yeah. And um, I think, yeah, we, it, taking it for granted is silly, but it's, it's sometimes human nature. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I'm very lucky. You know? It's so yeah. good. But it's so really power, 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 yeah. that you So, very, but that. very quickly, yes or no, you're going to go watch your mate in Strictly? Uh, well, I'm, I'm working every Saturday until the semi final. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> so, so, I'm praying that he gets to the semis because I said I'm there. <laughs> I'm there. Oh, we'll do absolutely brilliantly. Look, Max Bowden, ladies and gentlemen.